What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, the 2022-2023 edition, okay, it's the spiel, alright? Anywho, we are here back in Pokemon Stadium 2, after defeating Whitney for our third badge. And yes, it is time for us to trade for another Pokemon. Like I said before, in the last episode, yes, I did capture a Pokemon in Pokemon Gold. Bred it. And now it is time for us to, uh, yeah, send it over to, send it over our way because, well, we kind of need this Pokemon. So here it is, the Pokemon Trade Service. Let's go right ahead and see what Pokemon we're going to be trading for. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be trading Rocky away because, yeah, you're as useful as, uh, I don't even know. But the next Pokemon we're going to be trading for, no, it is not Ho-Oh, Mantine, Pinsir, or Fero. It is, yes, say hello to Hera. Yeah. So as many of you guys already know, I've had Hera in Pokemon Platinum. And uh, the only way you can actually get a Houndour in Pokemon Gold, Silver, or Crystal is by going to Celadon City or coming between Celadon City and that won't be until way later on. I do not want to wait. I need a fire type Pokemon and I need I need a dark type too. So, Hera is the way to go. Yes. Welcome to the party, Hera. Look at that. Oh yes, I am I'm excited about this, guys. I I'm, I'm, I'm having goosebumps. Not really, but there it is. There's Hera, our Houndour. And well, there's Rocky to the other side. <laughs> Okay, that's it. We're going to be quitting, and, uh, well, one more thing. Let's go right ahead and take a look at its Pokédex entry. Uh, that is the PC. Never mind. And let's go right here. So, here is the Pokédex entry for good old Houndour. Now, it's all the way out down there, and I better hurry up because... It looks like to me making trades kind of messed this, uh, the graphics up right here. So, here we have Houndour, the dark Pokemon. It uses different kinds of cries for communicating with others of its kind and for pursuing its prey. Look at that. Oh my god. Houndour, you are a magnificent beast. Alrighty guys, so we're going to go back into Pokemon Crystal, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back in Pokemon Crystal, and well, let's go ahead and uh, do something right here. We have an item. It could be useful for this. Let's go ahead and not cancel. Let's go ahead and give this to our buddy Hera. Okay, so let's go right ahead and take a look at our new Pokemon Hera, the Houndour. Look at that. Dark and Fire type Pokemon, level 5. It's a female, so it's not a complete sausage fest around here. And it does have Leer and Ember, as you guys can see. We're going to have some fun with this Pokemon. We are. And like I said before, we actually we actually had this Pokemon in Pokemon Platinum. It worked for us. It helped us. And, uh, yeah. It actually connects everything canonically, I guess, into the kind of walkers that I'm doing right now. So, we're healing up. We're ready to go. And, uh, well, there is one thing that we need to do and that is nah you know what we're not we're not gonna do that okay so we defeated Whitney our third gym leader and let's go ahead and take a look at these badges right here look at this look at that oh yeah three badges how you like us now um now we are enabled to actually go into the national park area to actually what yeah to to go into the next town which is Equitech City and uh since we don't have a Pokemon that knows cut, we're just going to go through the long way. I really don't mind. Plus, I want to battle some Pokemon trainers. That way I can level up Hera and all that crud. And, uh, yeah, the Pokemon, yeah, the Pokemon whatchamacallit uh, contest is going to be on again. So, we already won that. We don't need to be there anymore. Thank you again for the views, guys. And, well, let's go right in here. And take care of this business right here. We're going to be battling some trainers again. Remember that, guys. So, let's go ahead and switch train. Let's go ahead and put hair at the top at level 5. And what else? Oh, yes, look at this. There is an apricorn tree. And, oh, it's an ice berry. Never mind. I thought it was an acrotech or an uh, apricorn berry. And, well, let's go right ahead and battle some trainers right here. I 
going to read your thoughts. Well, look at that. Alrighty, so here we go. Taking on Psychic Mark, and he wants the battle. He's going to be coming out with an Abra right here. Now, I'm going to be... I'm going to be uh, daring right now, and yes, this guy only has Flash. So, we have a chance to beat it. Maybe. Uh, let's see, hold on just a sec. Let's see if we have an X attack right here or something. Nope. Never mind. Okay, so let's go with an ember. You can flash us all you want, but we're still going to hit you. Alrighty, Hera. Time to get these levels. Okay, so that... Yeah, it's going to be a while. And, oh my god, it's flashing us. So, our accuracy has fallen just a little bit more. And... Oh, dang. Okay, so... Yeah, this guy is not letting us... Yeah. <laughs> okay, just a little bit more. Come on, Hera. And, oh my god. And, yes, more flash. Okay, so at this point in time, we're we're completely blind. Like, this is where we're going to have like a 1 in like 10 chances to actually hit it. And look, there's that 1. Oh my god. And yes, it's burn. Okay, so we don't really need to do much. Go ahead, blind us. I don't care. I really don't care. You're going to be burned. There we go. Hera's winning. We're leering. We don't do anything. We're leering again, and that is it. No more accuracy. And there you go. Hera has won its first battle by itself. Boosted! Oh, look at that. Level 6. How's it going? Look at that. Level 7. And it learned Roar. Okay, so... Alrighty. And it's coming out with another Abra, so... Crap baskets. We can't really do much about this, because... Hera's kind of blind. So, let's go right ahead and go to Togapri. And take care of business right here. Alrighty. Here comes a flash attack, and luckily for us, we do have a uh, swift, so it's not gonna be that bad. So here we go again, another, another flash, and there we go. Swift attack does its trick. Say goodbye, and more experience points for all of our Pokemon. And he's got one more Pokemon. I. I'm not going to really battle this guy because, yeah, it's still, it does have an attack. Actually, hold on, hold the phone. My Pokemon's a dark type Pokemon, so there's a Kinesis. It will not affect my Pokemon because it's a dark type. How about that? And, well, let's go again. A Kinesis, and what does this do? Oh, it's just the accuracy. Holy crap, baskets. Okay. Well, at least we get to burn it or something. I don't know. And come on. Come on, Hera. Time to burn something. Use the force, young pup. And oh, crap baskets. Okay, so here comes another Kinesis. And that right there will lower our accuracy. So right now we're going to be a little blind. Actually, we're really blind. Holy crap. Okay, so. Yes, we hit it. Please burn. Please burn. Come on. And that actually gives it gives it a good burn right there, and oh my god, what is it with these Pokemon trying to, like, blind us? Is it, like, telling us something like, hey, you know, you should probably go this way. And, oh, nearly did it, okay. Yes. Okay, so here we go, another burn, and I guess Herrick will be able to actually, oh, critical hit. Let's go, be a big boy. Oh my god. So this is like the slowest battle ever. It's gonna be like six minutes and all that crud. All right, and no more. Come on. Oh Jesus. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is what happens when you bring in a Pokemon. Okay, so we're gonna speed it up a little. Yeah. And there we go. We 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 defeated K. <laughs> we defeated Kadabra. Finally, after a few hits, and bam, it grows two more levels. Three more levels. There we go. Okay. How do you like it to sound? Okay. And he's like, I misread you. Yeah, you did. And because of that, holy crud. Okay, let's see how much PP we used on Hera. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we used... Yeah, we used a lot. Okay, so let us move on right here. There is an individual right here that will actually be able to help us out. He's like, thanks to my studies, I'm ready for any Pokemon. Okay. 
Yes, this individual will be able to help you out in the long run when it comes to, you know, finding some rare items. And look at this, we're taking on a Tangela. Let's go, Hera. All right. Ember attack, and this Constrict attack right here is gonna hit it pretty hard. Here comes Ember attack. Hera taking, or standing up for itself right here. Okay, so let's go again, and another Constrict attack is gonna hit us pretty hard. Let's go, Hera. Oh, uh, yes, it's the Hera show featuring Hera the Houndour. Coming back from Pokemon Platinum. And, oh, there we go. Constrict is hitting us again, and here comes Ember Attack. And that does it with Tangela. And there we go. More experience points for Hera, and bam! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> So it almost grew to level 12. Oops, computation error? Yes. Okay. So if you talk to this guy, he's like, Darn, I study five hours a day, too. There's more to learning than just reading books. Reading textbooks are worthwhile is every so often. When I'm reading I'm wa and walking, I have to look down. So I notice items on the ground. Next time I find something, I'll give, you a, a give, I'll give it to you. May I have your phone number? Sure. So this is one of the individuals that will actually give you an elemental stone, so just be aware of him. Now there is one little thing that we can't that we have to do right here. So you see this little girl right here? Her name is Floria. I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle water on that wiggly tree, it jumped right up. I j it just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked out of its uh, disguise if you soaked it. I know. I'll tell my sister and borrow the, uh, her water bottle. Hmm. So here we are back to the tree that is blocking the way to Ecrotic City. Now that we've earned our third badge, we have to go back to Goldenrod in order to get a water bottle. So I'll be right back with you guys getting that water bottle. Alrighty, so here we are in front of the flower shop in Goldenrod, and let's see, what is it? So yes, the blooming yeah, the blooming beautiful flower shop. Let's go ahead and step inside. You talk to the girl that you were uh, at the other route, and she's like, when I told my sis about the jiggly tree, she told me it's dangerous. If I beat Whitney, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. Hmm, I wonder if that could be. Oh, you're better than Whitney. You'll be okay. Then here, here's the water, here's the squirt bottle. And there it is, we got ourselves a squirt bottle. And let's see what she has to say. Don't do anything too dangerous. Okay. So, we're gonna go all the way back up to try and wake up this, uh, this, 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 this Pokemon right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are in front of the, uh, mysterious wiggly tree right here, guys. And all we gotta do now is go straight forward towards it. And it, it's a weird tree. Use the squirt bottle. Yes, we will. And, well, we're using it. And next thing you know it, the weird tree doesn't like the water or the squirt bottle. The weird tree attacked. So, here we are, guys in a battle against a pseudo wudo this pokemon right here was believed to be a grass type pokemon until you know it was realized that it, it was a water or it was a, a rock type pokemon making it a pretty much basic like making it a fossilized tree if, if if you guys know what i'm talking about that's why no what well it doesn't like water type attacks and well as you can see this pokemon is a uh, Kind of a tough Pokemon to actually crack right here. It is a rock type Pokemon. It does have low kick and all that crud. And I'm trying not to make it faint so quickly. And oh, nearly made this Pokemon faint. So there's the rock throw. And well, let's go right ahead and throw a great ball at it. I only bought four great balls, so. Well, let's see if that this actually works right here. And there's one. There's two, there's three, and there it is, guys, throwing out the peace sign. We have captured Pseudo-Wudo. One of its kind and all that stuff. So here it is, Pseudo-Wudo, the intimidation Pokemon, or imitation Pokemon. If a tree branch shakes when there is no wind, it's a Pseudo-Wudo, not a tree. It hides from the rain. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to send that Pokemon straight to the PC. Now there's one more thing we need to do before we end up finishing this walk or this episode. Go right here, talk to this individual, and he's gonna be like, did you clear the wretched tree? I'm impressed. I want you to have this. Here we have the TM08. 
many of you guys will already know as it or know it as the T or the HMO6 in other versions and all that stuff. So this happens to be the rock smash technique. You can shatter rocks with just a single will aim smack. If any rocks are in your way, just smash them up. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. Sounds like a plan. Anywho, we're gonna stay put right here, guys. In the next episode, we're gonna be making our way to Ecrotech City, so just keep an eye out for that. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. If you guys wanna be uh, send a donation right here to this channel, the heart button's right there below. If you guys wanna join in on the channel and watch the exclusive videos of Pokemon Silver, the Pokemon Silver walkthrough, go right ahead and join. I'll be back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys.